Hi guys, welcome back. Shannon here with Shannon Gibson Art and Designs. And today, guys, I am doing a re-pour. If you guys remember back in Metallics in Motion, I actually did a ring pour in Berry Wine. Uh, I believe it was my green flash. I put white down as the base. And I had that mixed with the uh, Zinstar Liquitex. At that time, it was my first time using it, which is where I discovered it was a cell reactor. I also used the Copenhagen Blue, and I used gold. And what happened is, as you can see, it's not a ring pour anymore. It started that way, and it looked fantastic. You'll have to go back and check it out. And what happened was, all of this was coming through. And I wasn't liking it. So although I don't really mind this, it's not a terrible piece of art. And it has a great, nice finish on it. Um, it's just not what I was looking for. And I just don't like that I ended up throwing another cup on it to get rid of it. And it still bled through with these funky cells. So I'm going to do an open pour. And I'm going to be using my favorite metallics. Well, all of them are my favorites, but my favorite favorite, obviously, we know is the silver and the bronze. But today I'm going to be using um, Artist Loss Flow Acrylic Black. I'm also going to be using my Folk Art 14 Karat Gold. And then my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White mixed in with my Zinster Latex uh, 50, 50 with that, along with my Liquitex Pouring Medium, which still makes my ratio 1 to 1. Give me a second here. I'm trying to think on where I want to go. Now I've got some lacing here and I've got some lacing towards the end. Let me wipe my hands again. You guys know I'm very bad for that. I'm walking my hands over the paint. All right, guys, I wish you were here to tell me which way to go. I don't want to go here because I'm going to get rid of that. I want to go here, but I'm scared to get rid of that. 
So, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. All right, we'll bring that back right quick. Okay. I really want to stretch out what's going on here. So even though I don't like to waste, and I mean I have, as you can see, a lot of paint left. Um, the thing that I do love about having a lot of paint is being able to really stretch and get all that yumminess out of there. 